Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, so today we are actually doing a first impression on all the e.l.f. products that I hauled in my last video. So I kind of just went through and tried all the new products that I had. I threw in a few products that I already owned from e.l.f. I kind of wanted to keep it all e.l.f. products, but some stuff I didn't have, so I just used what I had in front of me on my table. I ended up throwing products in that I already previously owned because they are favorites of mine and I just put them in the video as well. But most of the products that I, um, that I mentioned are all the products that are new that I hauled in my last one. So this is the final look that I came up with, so go ahead and keep on watching to see all the products in action for the first time. Thanks for watching guys. All right, so what we're gonna do is just go ahead and start applying this makeup um, I Purchased these two foundations right here, but the problem is is one is way too light and one is way too dark This is the elf um, Acne fighting one and then this is the flawless finish foundation with SPF sunscreen of 15 So I think what I might have to do is just mix the two But first before we start I'm gonna use the poreless face primer this is um, also, all this stuff was hauled in my last video, so we're just going to use it as a first impressions. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and add some of this on the face. I don't want to use a lot, but I kind of want to just use it in the areas um, that I mostly have pores, but this doesn't seem like it's going to fill in my pores because I know the kind of texture that will fill them in, but that's okay. We'll just use it as a primer all over our face. I feel like this is going to make me kind of oily throughout the day, but we'll see how it works. I just got the small one. I do like it, the packaging, um, but I don't know. I don't really see a difference in them um, filling in my pores, so I guess it's just like a primer. So then we'll start with the um, foundation. I do have a brow pencil, but I think I might do my brows after I do my foundation because it might just be easier. Um, that's usually how I do it. So I'm just going to take um, one of these little um, tin, it's like a candle holder thing. I'm just going to mix the two foundations on here. And I'm going to end up using my Morphe sponge. Um, I just feel like I like how foundation looks with a sponge as opposed to a brush. I did buy this stippling brush, but I don't know if it would apply foundation really well. I feel like it would just leave it really streaky, but maybe we'll see. The smaller one I might use for cream contouring or blending out my concealer. Um, but this one I kind of feel like, I don't really know what I would use with it because it's kind of dense and I don't know if it would be good for foundation application. Maybe more contouring or underneath the eyes because it just seems really like dense and small. But I wouldn't use it to blend anything out because I'm just end up moving all the product. So we'll see. So what I'm going to do is just mix these two foundations together real quick. Like I said, one was way too dark for me and one was like way too light. Um, this one I like because it has a pump with it, which is really nice. And it's got this like, I think it's, I don't think it's glass. It's like that really nice hard plastic. This one's just a cheapy one. Okay. And I'm just going to apply this, start applying this to my face. I haven't tried out any of e.l.f.'s foundations, so we'll see. We're going to test it today because I'm going to be out in the sun all day and I thought it would be nice to have a foundation that had a SPF in it to wear. And I'm just going to start blending that in. Um, right away I can tell it has a smell to it. One of them does at least. Um, it's It stinks. <laughs> it's probably the SPF but I don't really like the smell. But I can get past that. It has decent coverage. Like I said, I don't really know both of them because I mixed so I'm not sure which is going to have better coverage but the coverage that I mixed with these two is not bad and again with these lights it kind of washes out my face it doesn't look it doesn't look that white I promise in person maybe I need to add maybe add a little bit more of the darker color um with just one application it actually gave me pretty decent coverage and again when I'm testing out foundations for me it's like how it wears throughout the day so there is the foundation um like I said the true test will be how it wears throughout the day so we'll see how these two combined are going to work all right, now I didn't purchase um, concealer, so what I'm gonna do is just use my BH Cosmetics concealer. I have really been liking this concealer. This is in the color 113. Um, I might do a tutorial using all BH products, well, all the BH products that I have, um, and use a t uh, do a tutorial using that. So 
I'm gonna try to see what I need. I don't have any of their foundation, so I might order some foundation just to try it out so I can do a full face. But right now I'm just using this. Um, also when I ordered it, it kind of was spewing everywhere, so half the product came out. And I don't really like this squeezy tube, but I do like the product inside. So I am gonna use this e.l.f. Um, stippling brush, the small one, to blend out the concealer. Just to see how this would work with concealer. Uh, it's kind of pushing the product around on top, so I'm gonna have to blend it out with my sponge. We'll just try underneath the eye. It's kind of flimsy, but it does blend it out. It just takes a little longer. I'm gonna try this other one that I bought. This one seems to work a little bit better because it's a little bit more dense. I actually like this one better. I don't know if I, I wouldn't repurchase either one of these. I mean, I, they just looked so different online. And this one's kind of pokey. This is the stippling brush. They both say stippling brushes, but one is way smaller than the other one. There's the concealer. And I'm gonna use a little bit of this lip exfoliator. This is the um, coconut one. Just real quick on my lips or it smells awesome. Tastes good to me. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so next we are going to move on to, I might just cream contour a little bit since I have, um, you know what? I have this cream contour from e.l.f. that I don't ever use and I didn't buy it in the haul but I just figured why not just use it and I'll try it out with this brush. So what I'm going to do is probably take a little bit of this darker one and contour out the tops here. Before we add powder, just taking some of those contour shades. So this is actually good for cream contouring. Now, if you're into cream contouring, I would definitely get this because it makes it easier to blend. Okay, so for cream contouring, I would definitely use this stippling brush for that. Okay, so that's the cream contour after I fixed it. Now moving on, so moving on, we are going to do, I'm gonna set my under eyes with this um, sheer under eye setting powder. It's just a small one. And I've heard it's similar to the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. So we're just gonna set under eyes with that and see. I'm just putting a little bit in the cap I'm setting underneath my eyes. And on my eyelid a little bit there. And it does like little flakes. That's the only thing I didn't like about the Laura Mercier one is it had little flakes of glitter, I thought. But this one really doesn't have, like, I don't know. I, I feel like you'd probably get flashback underneath your eyes with this but we're not gonna be taking pictures at night so that's okay which I don't know if you guys can even tell a huge difference but I'm gonna set my face with my powder because I feel like I'm gonna be really oily later on today and I might just use my Lottie London I don't have a setting powder that I purchased so I'm just gonna set the rest of my face with this Lottie London powder uh, it's kind of messy. That's the only reason I don't like loose setting powders like this because they're kind of messy, but that's okay. I'm just going to use my fluffy brush and just set my face. That foundation's looking good. I mean, now that I have powder, it doesn't look as... It feels a little heavy, but I think because I did the cream contour too. On, I'm going to go ahead and put... Some bronzer on my face because I don't have any bronzer from e.l.f. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use my... I'm just going to use my contour palette that I already have from e.l.f. Now, this isn't... I didn't purchase this with my order, but I already had it and I really liked it. So, I'm just going to use it for the video. So, we can kind of stick to all e.l.f. products. And we're just going to put some bronzer on our face. I'm kind of just mixing the two powders that are in here. Because one's really dark and one's light, so I'm kind of just mixing. I 
kind of give us some color back in our face. <laughs> Um, I'm going to use, probably, I'm also going to use my um, blush palette that I have, but before we put some blush on, what I'm going to do is probably do my brows. So for brows, I am trying out the new brow pencil. This is in, I think, Neutral Brown, I believe. So that's the pencil right here. We're going to go ahead and fill in our brows really quick. It does feel pretty creamy, but easy to work with. And I do like that it has a spoolie on the end, so you're able to comb out the product. I don't mind this brush at all. I feel like maybe if you were a beginner, it might be a little bit tricky for you because it is a little bit of a creamier. But it was only it was on sale for a dollar fifty, so that's pretty decent price for a brow pencil. Okay, those are my brows. I actually really like the pencil. It's not bad. It's a little creamier, but it's not hard to work with. I mean, if you're maybe more of a beginner, it might be a little bit difficult, but I actually like the spoolie, and I think it's a pretty decent product for how cheap it was. So I also got a um, liner or um, brow brush with it, so I'm going to fill in the rest probably with some powder because I want to see how the brush works as well. So I'm just going to go through and just fill in. A little bit more with some powder. The brush is a little bit more flimsier, but it's not a bad brush. It does the job. I kind of like how thin it is for the tail end of it, of your brow. It also has a spoolie on the end as well, which is nice. And there's the brows. So yeah, this is another good product that I would suggest. Very nice. Now I'm going to move on to um, of some of this eyeshadow. I'm probably going to have to use some other eyeshadow out of a different palette because it's only got the three right here. But I wanted to just use probably a couple like these two right here. I don't know if I'm going to use that purple shade, but we'll, um, we'll go ahead and use this color right here. This is the Sculpting Silk Eyeshadow in Rose All Day. So I'm going to use this to set my whole lid. And they are a little powdery, but that's okay. I'm probably just going to set like my whole bottom part of the lid because I don't really want that rosy color on my um, brow bone. Like so. And then I am going to take probably this palette I have sitting right here and I'm just going to put a little bit on my under brow area or my brow bone area. We are just winging it today people. And then with a fluffy brush I'm going to just take some of this brown color here in this palette that I have. It's the Irresistible palette. I got it um, from Beautylish I think or um, I'll have to see. I bought it in a like online and I do like it. It's really subtle which is nice. So I'm just going to put some of those brown tones in my crease really quick. Nothing too fancy. And then I am going to use this color right here in the middle, the shimmery one, to put all over my lid. I'm going to go ahead and wet my brush with some setting spray to see if I can intensify it a little bit. super intense but the um, setting spray I think does help a lot it's definitely more on the subtle side it's almost like a gold it it's, it's like a rose gold it's really pretty so I think I'm gonna intensify that a little bit more on the outside with this purple color it seems really dark but I'm just gonna put some more in my crease area I don't really wear purple shades, but I thought this was really pretty just to try to kind of step out of my comfort zone with new colors for eyeshadows. Alrighty, now moving on. 
Um, I did get a liner pen because I don't know how easy it's going to be to use it, but this is for the tutorial, so we'll see. Um, it's the e.l.f. eyeliner brush. It's super thick. You can see right there, but we are just going to go and try it. So actually drawing the line is a little harder, but doing the actual wing with this made it easier. So, and it does dry down matte black, which is nice. And this pen was on sale for $1.50, that's why I bought it and tried it out. But it is a little harder to work with, but the outside part of drawing the wing over here made it easier. So I don't know if that makes sense. But this part over here was a little bit more challenging because of how thick it is. So I'm going to do my other um, wing off camera and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I went ahead and finished up my eyes. That pen sucks. Don't buy this. Um, even though it was so cheap, when I started using the tip, it started to bend a little bit. So it made it more harder for the application to go on. So when you first use it, it's awesome. But then on this eye, I was really struggling. So... Because it's so thick and, and big, I just, I don't know, I feel like there's liners out there that are totally better than this. So even though this was only $1.50, I would pass. Like, I think it's normally $3 because it was on sale half off. So I just would pass. I, I don't know. I wasn't a fan of that. So anyways, finished up my eyes because that took forever and did my shadow, which turned out absolutely beautiful. I really like this quad. It's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and put on some blush. Also, I this isn't I didn't purchase this. I've had this and I really liked them. If you don't have these blush quads, you guys need to pick them up. They're only $6 and I think sometimes they're on sale as well, but they're awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and take this color right here and put it all over my cheeks really quick. They are super pigmented, so I like to use a stippling brush with them and just put a little bit on the cheeks. Usually I like kind of just mix them all, but I like this color a lot. This one down here is my least favorite. It has, it reminds me of that Orgasm blush by NARS, but it has like like glitter, gold glitter sparkles in it. And I just, that's something I wouldn't ever put on my face. So just a little bit of blush there. And then I'm going to use the stippling brush to just blend that all out like so. And then for um, a highlighter, I don't have a highlighter. So what I'm going to do is just use a little bit of my Rose Romantica by um, Milani that I absolutely love. I'm just put a little bit on my face. So this isn't even like a one brand. It was just, I just kind of wanted to keep it more elf stuff. But I just was trying out all the stuff that I had recently just purchased in my last haul. So, um, okay, and then... Lastly, I do have, this is also one of the things I purchased. This is a new product. I like how they actually are putting names on their stuff now before they used to not. It's a liquid matte lipstick. This is also new that just came out. I saw on their website. This is in the color Praline. It's absolutely beautiful. I have worn it before because I just couldn't wait. But I think I swatched it in my last video so you guys will see. Um, I really like the applicator. I really like the applicator on it because it kind of just goes up. A triangle so you can really get into the tops of your lips. So we'll go ahead and add a little bit of this on real quick. Okay, so that's the color right there. And last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and throw on some setting spray because I feel like I'm really going to need it today. And this is just the Milani one. I need to get some new setting spray of that because I love it and it's almost gone so I just like to take my sponge and really get that set it into my skin okay so this is the final look of the makeup that I just purchased um, all in all I'm really happy with everything that I got I really think my favorite thing though is this quad right here and the um, liquid lip if you guys haven't tried these I know both of these are actually new on their site so I would definitely um, try these two out for sure. Um, if you're looking for a good exfoliator, this coconut one, 
is awesome. It smells really, really good. The only thing with this liquid lip is it does show the lines in your lips. So what I do is actually put a lip gloss usually over when I do wear it just because I don't like to have those lines in my lips. But I really like the color. It's beautiful. I think it's um, a really nice color for even summer and winter season. Same with that um, quad. Um, I like this under eye setting powder. Um, I don't really, really see like a huge, huge difference. So I like, I mean, it's nice. These two brushes were probably my least favorite along with, I don't know. I feel like this is going to make my face really oily, this pore, poreless face primer, but we'll see how it lasts throughout the day. Um, these two brushes, this is actually the small ones really good for the cream contouring, but other than that, I wouldn't use it for foundation. Wasn't really a fan of those. And the foundations right now, they're wearing really nicely. Um, like I said, we're just going to have to see how they wear throughout the rest of the day. But these two, I wish they had better color selections in this acne one. Um, and then this one was just way too dark. But like I said, I mixed them and it worked. So we'll see how they last throughout the day. Um, I'm going to be out running a few... Um, well, we're actually going to Wahoo's here in a little bit, so I can let you guys know in the description box down below how the foundation wore throughout the day. It's about 90 to, I think, 100 degrees outside today, so we'll see how well the foundation um, holds up on my face. But anyways, I hope you guys liked the um, video, and thanks for kind of getting ready with me and just using these products in a first impressions. Um, I have a few more videos that I have planned coming up. I just have to find the time to record them. So please hang tight. And until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.